You know, that's a hard question because the Ferrari, you know, if you don't modify it, I understand why you have the enthusiasts that leave their Ferraris, you know, original. Yeah. Because they put billions of dollars into technology to build these cars, right? right. Um, once you modify it and you put different wheels on it, it changes the, the ride and things like that. But I think they're all so different. I mean, I could tell you my favorite driving car is the Porsche. Hands down. I never thought I would say that. But for some reason, that German technology, I mean, those guys know what they're doing. And those cars are amazing to drive. Now, as far as like, ooh, look at me, right? That's, that's the Ferrari. That's the Lamborghini. That's the Bugatti, the Pagani, the Koenigsegg. Right, and those those are hyper cars, right? Right. Which, unfortunately, I, I would love to have a hyper car, but I drive my cars. Right. I have thousands of miles on my car, so you can't buy a Bu a, a Bugatti Chiron and put three thousand miles on it. You can, and lose your butt, right? Or some kind of Pagani. Pagani is really like art. Right? Yeah. That's something you're gonna put on your wall. So, I, you know, I choose not to buy those cars just because I drive them so much. So I, I stick with the exotics. Your 911 Turbo is your daily driver, right? It is, yes. And that's, would you recommend that as a daily driver to people? I mean, people that obviously it's a lot of money, but I'm saying it's a rocket ship, but you're dailying it and it's comfortable enough to do so, right? Yeah, because I mean, it's, you know, that's the difference between a 911. The Turbo S and a GT2 RS. GT2 RS, track car, very stiff, you know, big giant wing, looks super cool. Um, but the Turbo S, right, very fast, heavy, but more luxurious, more comfort, right? So you get kind of the, you get the race feel yeah. with comfort. Right. It's very similar to the F8. Mm -hmm. The race feel with comfort where the pista is very stiff, transmission is different, yeah. the gear ratios are different, mm -hmm. right? Two different cars. Right. What you were saying about flashy on the Ferrari versus Ferrari Lambo versus Porsche, if people don't know what the difference is, they don't know these cars are four or 500,000 as you drive them. Like it's, they don't. They don't know. But, I mean, they know you... They know when you're coming because all your cars are loud. <laughs> but I'm saying it can blend in with just a 911... You know, yeah, yeah. Then the 911 like, just blends in, yeah. but you know, again, it's edified. Yeah. Right. Lowered with wheel HRE wheels, and it does have a tune, and it does have exhaust on it. Um, it is loud, um, so you couldn't like take it to the grocery store, right? You don't, you don't take your cars to the grocery store. No, I have right? a Ford Raptor for that. Right. Right. With HREs on it, all kinds of stuff. All that, yeah. it's like you put 50k in that. <laughs> thing. I'm like, yeah, that's like that. That's just like my dog car. Right. So on the other end of the spectrum, let's talk about the comfort. Let's talk about the luxury. Let's talk about what you have on that side. So um, we have a uh, Rose Road Ghost black badge. It's called Ice Gray. It's one of 10 colors in the world with Mandarin orange interior with all the carbon fiber and uh, some nice wheels on it. So that's L Ruth loves that car. Right. Then I have the Maybach, right? And as far as the Maybach is going to got Voss and wheels, we lowered it and we paint matched all the chrome. So we took off all the chrome, right? That car is sick. I love that car. I think that's my favorite more luxury car because it has just really cool technology in it. But they're both different, right? You drive a Rolls and you've got this different feel of luxury with handcrafted materials. Mm -hmm. Then you drive the Maybach, you've got this luxury, but you've got it with technology. So it's, again, two different kind of atmospheres when you drive those cars. 